After 100 years of successful bauxite mining in Linden Region 10, plans are on the cards for the creation of a multi-million dollar first-class Centennial Park on 34 acres of land. It promises to be a psychosocial game-changer for the town and Guyana as a whole. First of its kind here, the park will feature a statue, pool with lighted fountain, paved seating area and a wall of fame indicating the various stages in the processing of bauxite. It will also feature an indoor-outdoor bauxite museum with live train rides, a wraparound solar-lit exercise and recreational track, youth innovation and technology center for the arts, botanical gardens with thematic animal features, and a children play zone. It will be patterned closely with the existing Parc de Libertad in Costa Rica, with the fountains patterned after the Magic City fountains in Lima, Peru. The project was recently presented to the Board of the Guyana Tourism Authority by the Bauxite Centennial Park Committee. Committee member Selwyn Sills told the newsroom that the park will be a living tribute to the legacy of the mine workers and the contribution of the industry to national development. You know Bauxite has played a major role in our uh, country and our nation over the years. There's one time when Bauxite actually carried the entire nation. And to celebrate Bauxite is to say, hey, we do not only celebrate your legacy, but we celebrate your history. And we celebrate the fact that you have helped us to be where we are. And now, you know, taking the park is saying, look, we are walking with you. You walked with us for 100 years. We are willing to walk with you for the next 100. Sill says the project, formulated over four years ago, is viewed as a stimulus for social innovation, creativity, inward tourism, and healthy living. But to see the project realized, which can cost over U.S. $40 million or 800 million Ghana dollars, Sill says the committee is now looking for public and private partnerships. Well, we have everything set. The plans are there, the projections are there, but what we're looking for is another P partnership. So we are hoping that the government would come on board, private sector, public sector would come on board, the people of Linden will come on board and make this thing a reality. What we have is vision, what we need is provision. So we are hoping that people now can come and put legs on the vision to make it happen. The park is another face to the recently erected 20 million bauxite centennial arch. The arch currently stands at the ceremonial entrance to the park, which will be located between the Fairs Rust Junction and the Washer Pond Road, an area which historically covered the end of the ore's journey from the mines. The project will be developed in several stages, but will serve as a central driver for tourism in Linden and the wider Region 10. Already, Tourism Minister Onaj Waldron has said that investors from Qatar and Dubai were interested in projects of this magnitude. This project is a seller, you know, and I'm saying somebody should have been buying already. This project is sold, you know, I, maybe I could stamp sold across it one time because it's one that anybody who's thinking logically, who's thinking generationally, should buy into because the project is off the chain. For the newsroom, Kurt Campbell.